Have you experienced this issue in the past, where you know that your internet is working, but your Xbox doesn't want to play a ball? But, you know that your computer is connected to the internet and working fine. Well, I'm going to show you a temporary way of connecting to Xbox Live using just your laptop, an Ethernet cable, a Wi-Fi connection, and obviously your Xbox 360. So let's get started. Hello guys, so welcome to another video here on TEC, also known as Tutorial Challenge of course. And in this video, as I previously just said that's before the intro, I'm going to show you uh, a very neat, but um, it's, it's a little bit buggy, but it's a really great way to make sure that you can get on Xbox Live if your Xbox doesn't want to play ball, as I previously said. So all you need for this, of course, is an Ethernet cable, as I said, your Xbox, of course, and a laptop with a Wi-Fi connection. So first of all, make sure that you've obviously got yourself connected to the Wi-Fi connection and that it's definitely fully connected and there's no, you know, no triangles or anything like that there that, you know, like the warning signs or anything. Once you've done that, just go to it, your, um, your little Wi-Fi point here, right click it and press open network and sharing center. Then once you've done that, just go to change adapter settings. Now here is the next part. That we um, that you're going to need. Now as you can see here I haven't got a network cable plugged in but basically you need to plug your network cable in after you've done that you need to right click here on the obviously your wireless connection then press properties. Now when this loads up go to the next tab and press sharing. Now as you can see this option here I'm just going to untick for a second just so I can prove a point. Basically this is the option that will allow you to do it it basically means here, as it says here, allow other network users to connect this computer's internet connection. Basically, to allow you to connect for it. So this is basically like bridge connection, but it isn't like bridge connection. Basically, what it's doing is it's allowing any device. It doesn't. It doesn't say any device. It says any other, you know, any other computers. But the Xbox is obviously intelligent. It's like a computer. So allowing this button, um, clicking this button here, obviously this tick box and pressing OK will allow you to actually bridge connect but not bridge connect basically it's a kind of a halfway bridge connect it isn't always very workable it doesn't always work um, because obviously sometimes you might drop your Wi-Fi but that's only probably just my experience but apart from that after you've done this now I'm just gonna go over to the camera again to do the next part where I'm gonna show you how you're gonna go by connecting on Xbox Live with it Okay, so now we're at the Xbox. So, first of all, of course, if you didn't already know, that you obviously need to make sure that the Ethernet cable on this end is already plugged in. You should have already done this in the previous step. I know I should have already done it. So I'm just going to hook it in now in my computer here. So just bear me a second. Okay, so that's now connected. Make sure that the lights are obviously bleeping, because if it's not, it's got a problem. And obviously there, my HP manager has just said that the line is now connected. And it knows it's connected because the Xbox is also hooked up as well, because this is obviously an Xbox one. So as you can see there, if I just pull my Xbox back a second, you can see there that the Ethernet cable, if I can just quickly try to bring it into the light, as you can see there, my Ethernet cable at the back there, the left one there, that's plugged in. So if I just pull all this back for now, and now, obviously, most people would think then, oh, you have to press connect to Xbox Live now. No. What you need to do is, of course, is go to settings, then go to system, go down to network settings, if you're following me on this, you know where I'm going to go next with this. And then go to wireless or whatever your your connection obviously is. Obviously it's going to be an Ethernet, of course. Um, why am I saying that? Um, basically, as you can see, yeah, it obviously goes and says unknown. It doesn't know what it is. Of course, then, you need to go for an Xbox Live connection. Obviously, you're going to have to sign out. So just quickly sign out for the privilege of this. It may take a bit of time, but it will, in a sense, hook up between the computer and the Xbox. Obviously, you've ticked that box and it registered that it was you know gonna connect and now as you can see there the network did connect so it's just connected there and now it's just doing from network to the internet now obviously this won't, will, this won't take too long as you can see it's just connected and now Xbox Live just going between the internet and Xbox Live 
Now, if you're wondering why I know how this works and everything, it's because right now all my plugs, obviously, if you've been on my channel Digitus, I've said in my vlog, um, well, my uh, 50 subscribers video I did, I don't have my cables and everything hooked in. As you can see, uh, it just pulls right out. Obviously, I'm not going to mess with it too much at the moment because I've had my room done. But then you get this message. You can connect to Xbox Live, but the current connection configuration may limit your online experience. Now, you think, oh, no, this is not good. This isn't good. Actually, it's okay. Just press the, don't press cancel or more info, just press your Xbox button. And then just go out. Teach, keep going out. Um, obviously don't rapidly press it like I'm doing. And then go all the way over and obviously, you know, connect to Xbox Live. So I'm just going to sign in. Digitus, of course, that's my Xbox Live name. And now, it may take a little bit of time, depending on your connection. Um, right now, I see on my computer I've got three bars um, to Wi-Fi at the moment downstairs. But there you go. You're hooked up to Xbox Live. As you can see there, I've got my uh, my new Gears of War Judgment thing, which is pretty sweet. So there you go, guys. Connected to Xbox Live. So now, that's it. There's no more needed now. You've done everything you need to do. So yeah, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like round down below. Be sure to comment down below if you have any issues, and I'll try to rectify them. Um, there shouldn't be too many issues that you should get, and uh, someone's trying to invite me to a pie already. Um... But uh, sometimes this doesn't work for some people. I know bridge connection don't actually work for me. Um, it kind of spoils it for me a bit. Um, but this feature I came across, um, I didn't actually find this on any videos. I just found out this out purely myself. So you never know, I might be the first. But guys, that is it. That is how you manage to get on Xbox Live temporary if you have any issues and you can't get your thing to work. But you go through the computer, just like that. So guys, if you've enjoyed this video again, do all the favouriting, liking and even subscribe if you've enjoyed. Um, and you like these videos. So yeah guys, I've been I've been Digitus <laughs> for Tutorial Challenge and I'll see you soon. Peace.